Hey guys, it's me Zane and today we're gonna talk about Synthic again. I'm gonna make you the Synthic update and if you're wondering why is my voice weird right now, well, it's because I'm a little bit sound to be sick or something like that. That's why I'm wearing this scarf here. It's a placebo for me, I think I'm gonna feel better if I wear it, so I wear it and it works. So yeah, placebos are great. So today we're gonna talk about my first Rebloom in Synthic, so this is going to be an exciting video for today. If you don't know what Synthic is, check this video out in the corner. It's the first sphagnum, in artificially made inorganic sphagnum moss, so check that video out and you will know what I'm talking about here. So this is my, I think it's a Metasia Shop Tolkien. This is the flower and I'm gonna make you a close up. Here's the flower, it's moving quickly and last time you see this one it was in bud and if you missed that video make sure to check it out because there are a lot of orchids in bloom in that video and if you click on the corner here I think it's there. I'm starting to remember which is the corner where the info cards pop. Maybe it's here but if you click on the info card which is in that corner you can see that video about my uh, blooming uh, orchids. So this is my first like let's say official um, synthic project I parted this plant into synthic mixed with laca because you know oncidiums I mostly uh, put my oncidiums parted into bark chips and sphagnum moss so I made the inorganic version of that mix of that parting mix I placed laca instead of bark chips and I placed in this pot synthic instead of sphagnum moss um, so what I noticed about this Miltonia shop Miltasia shop Tolkien there is a lot of variation going on with this flower I've seen flowers with long little petals and much lighter petals and shit like that if you want to know how I potted this orchid up into laca and synthic click on the info card again there is the video about the repotting of this orchid how I did it and things like that so they say an orchid is established in its pot when you can lift it up by holding only the plant and not the actual pot so I'm gonna try to do that okay I did it <laughs> but you know uh, okay so I'm holding just the plant and it comes right off and it stays in the pot so I can say this orchid is like really just established in its spot and I really like that. I really have to share with you a little bit of a history about this orchid because I repotted it into Synthic and Leca and after it I kept it outside in the summer on the windowsill and once a huge wind just came and while this orchid fell on the ground half of the medium just fell out from the pot, the pot cracked but I was like okay I don't care, here is the crack. So I was like, okay, I don't care, because the orchid kind of stayed in the pot and the medium also kind of stayed in the pot, so I was like, okay, I just put the medium which fell off into the pot and let's see how it will develop further. So I just took my chance, I did that and it started to really take off, but the roots just were going everywhere and I like that. Okay, on this part I think you can see that on this part you can see that a lot of roots are just growing everywhere so that's really great and I like that. Also throughout the entire pot there are some roots just popping up but the, most of the roots are in this part where the new growths are facing. And one important thing about fine oncidium roots and synthetic, they just grow through the synthetic. If you look at these roots, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but if you look at these roots right here, you can see that they are just coming out from the synthic. So the roots cannot be bothered by the synthic, they are enjoying it. Okay, a few things about synthic. If you keep it in the air, if you keep it in a very airy environment, so there is a lot of air movement around the synthic, after a few uses it, it gets water repellent. But if you are soaking it, the synthetic will actually soak up the moisture so it doesn't get really just water resistant for ever but I think, at least for me, uh, what is that? Sphagnum moss does the same thing. Sphagnum moss is not that much water repellent as synthetic 
Synthic is more water repellent than that, but you know, there must be some downsides of using Synthic. If you are using Synthic in a closed environment, like the center and like the middle parts of the pot, this water repellent quality of the Synthic won't show up that easily, because Synthic stays more moist, and if Synthic is just a very little bit moist, it will suck up moisture like crazy. It repels water only when it's totally, totally dry. If you are thinking about putting into synthetic orchids, you have to take into consideration that synthetic holds more amount of moisture than sphagnum moss. So if you are thinking about uh, repotting something into synthetic mixed with laca or pure synthetic, you really have to think about the or what the orchid likes, what the orchid wants. For example, here is my catacidum the project plant Calicidum. I put this one up into pure synthetic because I wanted to experiment with that. Yeah, it grew nicely and there are no rotting parts on it, but it's in pure synthetic. If you use pure synthetic, okay, I didn't use pure synthetic because there is a layer of, what is that? Layer of laca in the bottom just for drainage, but I use pure synthetic on the top parts of this pot. It can hold crazy amounts of water, and I'm not even kidding. It's a miracle how much moisture can this one hold. Calicinus love moisture when there is summer and the growing period. There was no harm done to this orchid, which is pretty good. If I would repot this one, I wouldn't use that much synthetic, but you know, this is an experiment, so experiment gave us an idea about synthetic. So this is where the pulling ratios of synthetic comes into the topic. Synthetic holds more, more moisture, so you have to use less than in the case of sphagnum moss if you want to use synthetic with your orchids. For example, here is this case, my Oncidium case. There are not too many pieces of synthetic in this pot because it can hold more moisture. If you are growing um, Oncidium in the mixture of bark and sphagnum moss, I usually just mix there more sphagnum moss than in this case, in the synthetic case. But the good thing about synthetic mixed with laga or pure synthetic, it does not compact that much like sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss can be compacted for, for example, this is a fluffy part of sphagnum moss and it can be compacted like this. And synthetic just kind of, it remains the same shape. It cannot be compacted that much. Okay, you can compact it, but it holds to its original, ow. You're a bad plant. So it really wants to stay in its original shape. So that is one thing that I like about synthetic. So one more thing for the ending of this video. Roots are growing through the synthetic and I was just thinking, oh my god, how I'm gonna do that repotting? But then I remembered, oh my god, this is an organic, I can reuse it, so that's good. I don't have to remove synthetic bit from between the roots. I don't know how synthetic works in clay pots because they are more ventilated and I still need to figure that one out, so maybe I'm gonna do some experiments about that one as well and I'm gonna share that with you. This is my video for today, I hope you liked it and I hope you really find this video useful if you want to purchase Synthic and things like that. It's not bad, Synthic is not bad. Okay, some people don't like it, but it's still not bad. I am using currently Synthic with more orchids, not just these two, and the results are pretty great. If you are using Synthic like, I don't know, if you want to use a Synthic in Kokedama style, that's not good because Synthic drips out. Synthic does not wick up moisture for, it wicks up moisture for like 3 centimeters or so and I made experiments about that so if you are curious about that check the info card. So this is my video for today, I hope you liked it, if you liked it share this video, comment on this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel because that's really important, subscribe to my other channel and also you can follow me on Instagram, all the links and things like that are in the down in the description box. So see you next time, bye guys!